playing. We should talk about Sal's thing, by the way, because it was so... Uh, Gary pointed this out to me. Sal's speech? He, yeah, he didn't mention Beth. I know. <laughs> it was all Howard, 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 Sal Howard. Sal is retarded. I mean, <laughs> Sal is retarded. It was retarded. an engagement party. And we're supposed to be toasting the couple. You know, I'm not talking about whatever, like, you know, people were, were busting his chops and everything. That's not, I'm not talking about the content itself. Except stupid. for the fact that Gary pointed this out, and I went, you know what? You're right. He, It's an engagement party, and he doesn't... Doesn't mention the it bride. Yeah. It was his engagement. It, it, Howard. Right. It was like Howard, you and I, me and you. How do you look at me? <laughs> you, me, me. And yeah. Beth is like in the way. First I can't of all, yeah. it. first of all, you know you're in trouble when the first line is when I was 16 years old. Right. My oh. sister. <laughs> Wait a minute. You give, let me tell you a yeah, speech. We heard but about the, the point, first time you Sal, you come off so bad. But dude, the it's whole amazing point to me. I, how you work for me is ridiculous. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, it's unbelievable. Like you're, you're like socially retarded. <laughs> Listen to your speech. Let me see. Nobody you know gave me a chance. The point is, I was building up. It was a crescendo to get to Beth Let's in the see. end. Who stopped Let's him? See. You all did. <laughs> Sixteen years old, my sister called me. I was on the way to school. And she knew I loved dick and fart jokes, and she knew I was an idiot. And she says, "You have to listen to this guy. He's in the middle of he's in the middle of a guy named Fred, and he's going to something called lesbian battle day." I immediately changed the channel, heard him in the middle of yelling at his staff, yelling at his boss, and, and after all that, people were cursing, flipping out, I was freaking out, and then Howard goes, and when we come back, we're going to have lesbian dial day, and I said, I don't know who this man is, but whoever he is, he revolutionized radio, he said, <laughs> So, but, but 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 Sal's whole speech was about my career and right. how he how he listened to me as a kid and it was your, it was your, the right. history of you and him yeah and had nothing like to do with that I couldn't believe it and then changed. lesbian dial a day so right. and then my sister I, she called me up and says this guy is meant for you so right. I walk over I whisper in his ear mention Beth asshole yeah I know because you know, oh, you're an wow. asshole you had to even say it to him yeah I should mention Beth. but I was trying to get there but you guys no. kept interrupting my speech. No, I was trying to get there. Sal, you're an embarrassment. <laughs> I mean, really, stop kissing my ass every I'm not, tr Dude, it was your engagement. I was trying to be nice. I was toasting you and your fiance. Yeah, no, you weren't. Yes, but I was, but these assholes that kept heckling left and right, I couldn't get to the big grand finale, the ending. You're sitting there talking about how in love you are with me, and it has nothing to, it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm engaged. Yeah, <laughs> if you were wearing the ring, I would have understood the speech. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, what, what's the grand finale. Tell us, because in all fairness, well, you, the were, grand finale you were cut was, off. I there was no grand finale. Yes, there was. Uh, the point I was trying to make, I go, Howard, if you get one ounce of the pleasure from Beth that you've given the world, then you got the luckiest girl, and then you're the luckiest person in the world. <laughs> and you got the luckiest girl. girl. Wow. Luckiest girl. Even, you, that, even your Freudian slips oh are goodness. so revealing. She's the luckiest girl in the world. She I mean, is. But your part about Beth 
It's, it's all about, about Howard. Him. No, but look, the point I'm trying to make is that this guy's broke his ass for 20 years, right. and it, it took him 20 years to break his ass to entertain the world, yet yeah. all he needs in his life to get that back is Beth Ostrowski. All right, get out of here. You don't Ooh. see how it's all about you're him. Insane. You're <laughs> insane. No, Howard. you're insane, and that fat slob over there is insane because you guys are just putting a spin on all this. No, no, I am trying Sal, to say that Sal, Beth Ostrowski is a beautiful woman that has given you the pleasure that you've given millions of people. Yeah, but it, it's not... I'm putting her in the mix. Howard's the, in the mix. But no, she shouldn't be in the mix. She should be out in the forefront. She's my gift it's for, she, for it, entertaining it, you and millions of people. Right. Yeah, you're not getting it. You don't see it. It's a shitty it. speech. How, it's like you're a king and she's your president. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Here is here is the, the woman who should make you happy because you've helped me and millions. Yeah, they should Here's your in gift. On right? Thank you. Now you're getting it. No, That's but, but you get it. What about her? It's an insult to her. She's Maybe she's a terrific girl and I'm the lucky one getting her. Right. Here's your gift for you making me and all my shithead friends you don't, know how to, to you don't know how to make a fucking speech. And I know how to make a speech. You always, you always She's not screw just up. a present for Howard. Well, what's wrong with being a present rather than being a pile oh, of shit? I'm, oh, she is a gifted person. Listen to me. It's a, she's a gifted person that she has the ability to give you the pleasure that you deserve that you've given the world. <laughs> oh, how about I don't girl. get how that's insulting. Sal, I good. don't get it. You guys are crazy. You're retarded. No matter what I She gives Howard and that pleasure is going to be different. Oh, your thought you process is I'm so muddled. I'm saying something nice about you and your beautiful you're, you're fiance, and you I turn just around to tell you something. You're a horrible speech giver. You your, know? your thought process <laughs> is so muddled, I can't even begin to tell you. That poor wife of yours, I'm oh. telling you. No you're wonder. on her side now. <laughs> I am. Hey, by the way, Howard. You're just, muddled. I'm not muddled. Listen to me. You you're are, befuddled. Listen to me. I, let, let me give you some basic arithmetic. Two plus two, Howard entertains world, Howard finds somebody to entertain him. End of story. The yeah. end. Finito. Oh, yeah, you that's think that's a normal like that. thought? You think that's a good speech? That's a point? Well, that's, well, right. it's a In it's, other it's, words, she is my prize for entertaining the world. Sure. I but, see. But you yeah. put the word prize in. I put her in as like, like a, a gift. Like, you said a, gift. A gift. She's yeah, a like gift. the Messiah. A like gift. Jesus came down. She's not a prize, it's a gift. She's your bowling trophy. Yeah, it's like it's right. sort of like, look, Howard, did she make you happy? Yes. yes. So I'm happy for you that she makes you happy the way you what made about, me. What, what about I can't her? even believe Sal. you know what I Are can't even I shouldn't even give you a fucking speech. Why, what I if, can't even believe Sal, I looked up to you. you all you do is rip me to shreds. I'm trying to praise you. You treat me like I'm the king of the world, and now, sire, here is your presentation. You're sure. insane. So like, what about the part where you're a sick, sick man, what, 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 what and you, you need s- psychotherapy? <laughs> what can you say I'm about Beth, good. Sal? What can you say about Beth as a person, excluding Howard? She uh, looks good next to Howard. See, she, you're, uh, you're being a jerk. Next to Howard. <sighs> what can I say about Beth? She's, She's a wonderful, a sweet, that serious. nice, sincere girl. She's got great. Um, I saw her on the View. I think a little bit of you rubbed off on her with a delivery. I thought that was nice. <laughs> And, oh um, my God! I heard she's him a sweet, say this to her before so we went into dinner. He stopped Beth and started saying to her that she started to talk like Howard, and that was good. Right? That he was complimenting her because now you're sounding like Howard. Her cadence and her delivery on the View was somewhat similar to yours. You know, it was enjoyable, oh it was refreshing, and it was to entertaining. Me. To Sal, me. if you had known Beth. As a person without Howard in her life, do you think there's any compliment you could give her? Outstanding, <laughs> right. beautiful girl. All right. Well, what, what, what about, about as a person? That's looks. Now, what about Beth as a person? Okay. Well, Gary, if I'm saying Beth is giving somebody the king of all media um, <laughs> pleasure for the rest of his life, I can't think of any better way would you to say that she's a compliment good, would somebody. Would you say in a way she's a good trophy for me? <laughs> all girls are trophies, right. dude. Okay. I mean, all right. All right. Listen to me. Here's a, here's a, here's a speech I want to make. Some are I want to make a speech now to you. Oscar. <laughs> yeah. Turn around and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Wait, I want to hear nice about Beth mentioned that you guys made up. I want to hear about that. How that. Well, that's when he was telling her she sounded like Howard. What a compliment. Hey, Howard. You yeah. know what, Sal? You're a comic. You would have been better off just going for jokes. Just I didn't want to go for jokes. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to have a nice dinner, and I just wanted to... I, <laughs> <laughs> I want to be sincere. Like, he wanted to be sincere. To be funny. Yeah. Right. I just came here to have a nice and, dinner. Say and that. winds up being creepy. But how you're am I creepy? Creep. <laughs> That's exactly the right word. Robin hit on that. You're a creep. Listen, what do you do for a living? I'm on the radio. Right. And why? Because you have a fixation and a need mm-hmm. to entertain people. Go and ahead. you have. Right. And that's my point is that my my point at your speech was my speech was Jesus. My point <laughs> my, the point of my speech was to tell you your point. that I'm gonna, you I'm gonna, I'm gonna. that you've graced so many people with 
being an incredible entertainer. And I know you hurt inside. I know you do. You know, I know you have a lot. <laughs> and the point is that somebody like you, over years and years of grief and anger and anxiety, you've put it all on the line. You've entertained so many people. You finally got what you deserve. You finally got the pleasure back in your life that you've given so many people. And that pleasure <laughs> is Beth Estras. You're, You're a fuck fucking he lunatic. Saying? Hey, so what, what, what if you got up? Yeah. Now, what if you got so now, nice and you, touching? Now, what if you got up and it. said, you know what, Beth? You're an amazing person. You're terrific. Mm. And, you know, I'm really happy that you have Howard in your life because you know what after the years of you know of uh, you know being uh, uh, in different relationships things like that why not reverse it and make it about her well because I did you, you, you sit there and suck my nuts like she's a prize for me and it's a s bizarre speech you come off in such a weird way I can't even begin on how many levels to tell you how <laughs> that speech is completely bizarre do you realize that I yeah. saved the best for last? That was Beth. That no, was my whole no, time. No, you're really full of shit. No, I'm not. I, she's in the end. No. And, and everybody. And Howard hears your present for you know entertaining saying? Me. It's like you're saying, Howard, you are God. And now look at the beautiful gift we are presenting to yeah, God. Yeah, I mean, right. This is a sacrifice from us <laughs> right. to you. Yeah, she's 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 us now throw in the like, volcano. Like I'm King Kong and she's <laughs> like, you know, Fay Ray right. being brought to me <clears throat> for me to devour. In other words, you are the great Kong. Here, here is your gift. Please, that's don't your eat speech. Us. Hey, dude, you're the great Kong, man. That's that's awesome. That's your speech. So, well, so, so, it, it, you know how awkward that is? Geez. Not really. It's I like don't... the Godfather speech that Artie does all the time. <laughs> Don Corleone. <laughs> yeah, you're Luca Brasi. You're Luca Brasi. You are <laughs> Luca Brasi. I just there was uh, one point he started to talk about how as a kid. <laughs> He heard lesbian dial a date and realized this man was revolutionizing radio. <laughs> you were, I mean, yeah, but but Sal, it's it, that wasn't the time to be right. to honoring me. It but was about being was, engaged. Even I know. That, I the had point was what? The point was that I've never had the opportunity to tell you that it was a beautiful moment <laughs> and a beautiful night, and I was able to put it all together. Can, can I like pull him aside and tell him that Howard, story? Can I ask Sal a question? Because he sets up earlier, really but I know. I don't get it. I complimented you. I didn't curse. I, I didn't know, make an ass. I don't. That might be appropriate. At, like, my retirement party. I don't know, okay? man. Not even, but I'm just saying, you don't have to. When he's inducted into the Radio Hall of Fame. It was I, so, it was so douche chilly, and I looked at your, your table. If you thought Buckwald was, was rolling, rolling his eyes at Dominic, Dominic, he didn't know what to do. He was so embarrassed for Sal. He wasn't looking at you. He was talking. He was, like, he was talking to a dinner roll. No one knew what to you know, do, because, that, I mean, first of all, he promoted Lesbian Dialate. How did you know what it was? He just said, when we come back, Lesbian Dialate. Uh, you don't How forget do you know moments like... You don't forget moments like that in your life. You don't. It's a lie. Oh, you didn't it's a hear it. fixated on me. So then Howard, after that, and everybody you are, you are starts, a creep. Well, when everybody started heckling me and you got up and walked over, I go, wow, this is nice. I mean, here's Howard consoling me. <laughs> he, he and he whispers to me, he goes, right. say something about Beth, you fucking asshole. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> did you really? Yeah, really? Yeah, really did. I did. Oh. I go, Sal, stop it. You're embarrassing <laughs> me. So and, how could you no. continually fuck and, up your relationship with Howard? I said to Howard, I go, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Well, you know what it is, I'll give you the, why did uh, uh, Brando and Vito Corleone keep uh, Luca Brasi around? Because he could call him to cut off a horse's head. If right. right. Sal's here because he'll get naked and paint Richard's balls. Right. <laughs> Not because he's great at a party. Hey, hey Howard, can I ask Sal a question? Because he said something earlier. How, how does Howard hurt? You said you know yeah, he hurts. What is my pain? I'm dying to know you're what that sad, is. You're sad, you're angry, you're whatever. That's what constitutes Howard Stern. But, but, I mean, but what makes him hurt? I don't know. I'm not a psychologist. I don't know what makes him hurt. You're not but a you psychologist? Said, I didn't know that. <laughs> but I you thought said, you were. Wait, Sal, you said before you go, listen, Howard, I know you hurt, but you're still great. So you clearly have an idea in your head that he's got some sort of pain. I'm well, loving to know what it is. Well, last week you kept saying, I can't sleep, I can't sleep, I'm sad, and, you know, and... Well, sure, everybody has there. Yeah, so you hurt a little bit. We all hurt, but it's... Everybody I'm hurting right now. Everybody hurts. Uh, nice. <laughs> but... See, Sal is talking about himself. It's song? once again his, no. I'm on your wavelength, Howard, right. sentence. Oh, so, Robin, you shouldn't be concerned for a friend if he's hurt? 
No, this is sad? you. You're you're projecting right. your feelings. Look at me. How am I projecting my feelings? If a Look, fucking guy tells me, pain? aren't you Sal. hurt? I'm always hurt. I was born <laughs> hurt. Sal, Look at me. There's something very wrong with you. <laughs> yes, I'm you. You, no, you no. always switching shit around. I'm no. trying to be a nice guy to you. You want my I'm, advice? You really need to see someone for some help. There's something really off. You're off. You know when someone's touched? You ever hear touched? No, what is touched? Mean? Touched means like there's a little something g- a w- wrong. Touched in the head. Yeah. Isn't yeah. the whole world touched? No, world not touched. like you. Maybe not you like got this. two screws loose. <laughs> I want you to get psychological counseling. Some of us are touched in capital letters. <laughs> <laughs> and try to go to someone legitimate, not some shaman. All right? Yeah, don't go to the guy who drives you. I feel so <laughs> deflated. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Get some help, yeah. You're get broken. Some help. You see how your wrist is in a cast? Your brain should be in a cast. <laughs> I don't have a brain. <laughs> Are you no, crying? Guys, I, you just, it just, I'm so deflated. I, all I wanted to do, I didn't want to be funny. I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to say, hey, thank you. That That's night, all. Did I said, you thank realize... you, and here's your prize. But hold on a second. No, no, Wait, no, hold on, hold on. You've done. So, listen here's to that. Here's your prize. Listen you're saying it again. So your listen, prize. <laughs> that was not a night to say thank you to Howard. That was a night to say congratulations to this right. lovely couple. It wasn't a place to say thank you Gary, there wouldn't be a couple without Howard. Stop. Oh, my God. It's insulting. No, it's not insulting. It is, dude. Whatever. You guys are nuts. Are, are we nuts? Did you realize no. how badly this was going? No, there's one nut that in the room. night. I couldn't wait to say it. I thought it was. Uh. <laughs> I envisioned standing ovations. But, uh, it went off and horribly. They were wrong. standing, but nobody Did was. Did your wife clapping. say anything to you after that speech? She said, What do you expect? You kissed his ass. You sounded like such a moron. And I just, I, no, I, she came I, I, over I, to me and said, Please pay no attention to my Howard. Really, did she? Yeah. <laughs> Every, she came over to me and said, Is that paint gun around? <laughs> Every person that sat at their table has come yeah. to me this morning to tell me that all Sal and his wife did was bicker the entire party. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's just like, it was like a, a show going on. Is that true, Sal? Well, I'm cutting my lobster with my busted arm, and my wife's behind me drinking wine, laughing, making fun of me. Like, look at Sal with his bad arm. Wah, wah, wah. She just... Oh, she, oh. Will is getting engaged. His fiance was sitting there. Her mouth was down to her fucking ankle. She was in shock. I go, you wait. See, you think you're all happy right now? Happy engagement and everything else? Oh, 15 years. God. You'll see when you're on the co- cover of a fucking newspaper with a murder-suicide. <laughs> Everything's all <laughs> beautiful. Do you think beginning. that's where it's do going? Because you better get out. out. You're just taking his wedding. Do something, Sal. <laughs> yeah, be careful. You're not going to do a murder suicide. No. Right? Is this the thing that we're going <laughs> to ignore? Yet. That You're just <laughs> probably going to do murder. You're not doing the suicide right. part. Is this the thing we're going to ignore? And when Sal does it, we'll go, well, he said that, but we didn't really mean it. <laughs> just, it just don't do it at Virginia Tech. They've had yeah. enough problems. Really? Right. Pick a different college. Yeah. Pick the Johnson Space Flight Center. <laughs> but what do you want to say, Will? It was just so funny to see Sal and his wife fight, but my... my Girlfriend was really uncomfortable with the whole thing. Why? What was going on? It's just like they try and one up, one up each other, and they're making a joke about it at first, but then it obviously becomes like real, real? like uh. yeah. And there's a lot of tension, and you. But like, will was geez. I even saying anything? My wife, she. Well, was- this is it. You both try and play like, well, I'm the victim here. No, you're the one that's the asshole, and it just goes back and forth, back and forth, and it just gets to a point where it's completely uncomfortable. You guys need a daytime. You're the fighting couple. You? And then it's my like- wife, after yeah, a couple of drinks, after a couple of drinks, she breaks down. She goes, "Next time I do this, I'm marrying a Jew." <gasps> oh. Oh my gosh. Why would she marry a Jew? Where does a Jew Because have? they kiss your ass, they uh-huh. make good money, they pay attention to you. <laughs> Most people? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> well, you married She's the right nuts. woman, I think. <laughs> What about uh, marry a Jew? That is a funny. T- that that was a funny table because I don't know Will's fiance that well, but she does seem very proper, yeah. you know. And then you got Richard, <laughs> oh who my is God. just whose white whose whose teeth were they were brown gr- red from the wine. Yeah, yeah, they were grape colored. Drunk off his head. I had to call him aside too. It's, it's just, it doesn't do any good. I go, Howard. Richard. Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I walk into the party. It's a surprise party for you know for me and Beth in case you're just tuning in, and. Uh, uh, we, we, you know, it's a surprise party, and you know, so I guess you guys got there. I don't know, a half hour earlier. Yeah, or something. we got there at six thirty or a little bit before six. So this guy or Richard, before six thirty, he already had must have had five glasses of wine before I got there. You know, so wasted. In, a, in, a, in a half hour, wasted. I mean, I'm just not like, even holy. sure he started with wine. He might have had mixed drinks before that, so and I, then did wine dur- and champagne during the dinner. Yeah, so I see sloppy already. Yeah, yeah. so, so I go, I go, uh, Richard, look. I said, I know this is my party and stuff, and I shouldn't be saying this, but I'm just giving you a heads up. You, you, you're, you're coming off bad already, and the night is young. I said to 
to him earlier. I said, the, the bar is open all night. It's not like you have to drink everything yeah, now. Were you nervous at any point? Because I was watching him. He was kind of stumbling. He had a fork in his hand. I thought he was going to stick Beth with the damn thing. Oh, he was like stumbling. No, so I, I, I pulled him aside. I said, look. You want my advice? I said, you're being what's known as a chazer. That's an Italian word. <laughs> I, said, you, I said, I know it's a free bar. I said, but what you got to do is, you, you, you'll, there'll be other alcoholic drinks in your future. You don't have to and worry about other alcoholics. It. Yeah, yeah. And I pull him aside. This is like a, a big surprise. Yeah. And, and like within minutes, I'm pulling you're Richard aside, aside like a baby. And I said to him, you know, it'd be nice. What you do is, when you have wine, have a glass of water after maybe a glass of water. Yeah, go, I already had water. I know that. I drank that water go, last I, week. I, yeah, so I go, I go, I know you know it. I said, but I think you're forgetting it because you're already shit faced and it's only seven o'clock. Yeah, we, the you night know. had hardly started. Yeah, you know, I, these two guys, I think they're really funny, and I'm far from being one of the royal family, but you two are, like, uh, where the fuck were you brought up? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Richard, you Richard are, was... You have uh, nothing. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not even not, an ounce of, like, maturity. This is not the local bar. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and it's not midnight. <laughs> yeah, it's That's funny, but you're Jesus. You're supposed to just enjoy yourself. You Have you ever heard of social drinking? No. Well, I get more social when I'm drunk. No. No, you don't. <laughs> You're like a bore. No, we had fun. <laughs> we were slapping each other on the back. We were hanging out. Yeah, but out. I got to tell you something. You get this. I'll do an impression of you. You get this hangdog look on your There's face. There's a look, yeah. You're like, you're like this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And you're weaving. It's you're like, like a happy like, retard because yeah. he's smiling. Yeah, you're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, you know, you're at a social function with women. And, yeah, you know. you know, there's people to interact with. Now you're blasted and you can't even talk. I want to congratulate you. I, I came from the middle of nowhere in Kansas, and this guy gave me a chance. I owe everything to you, Howard. And I'm not just speaking, and it's not the wine speaking. I really. But man, your, oh your teeth were red from the wine. Uh, yeah, it gets like that when I drink well, wine. You know. yeah. Look, I know you didn't have any. Look, there you are. There's a picture of you at the party. Oh. Look at that. And I mean, women are looking at you. <laughs> you look like a retarded person. Yeah, that's what I said. He's a happy reader. Well, it was no, that I champagne. Is, I started with champagne, and that was, I don't know if that was Dom Perignon or what, but it was good. <laughs> and I had seven glasses of that oh, and my then Richard. went to wine. Yeah. It was good, though, Robin. That is crazy. That Seven good. glasses of but champagne. But they were small glasses, smaller glasses. You, know, you realize when you say to Richard, were you brought up in a bar and you realize with him that's not a rhetorical that's question? That's right, he was. <laughs> they had a oh, champagne <laughs> flute. I used to spend the night in our barn of just for fun when I was a kid. That's where you belong yeah. still. Okay. Yeah, your family Which was glad on those evenings. All right, all right. Shh. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> okay. Because the noise level is building up, and it's early in the morning for me. You you need guidance in your life. Uh, you're a, you're a bore. A bore. You understand what a bore is? Yeah. When you get into a party, you drink a little bit. I wasn't boring at the party. No, 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 no. Listen to me. What a bore is. I'll give you the definition. It's like uh, a wild pig. Yeah. When you're at the party, yeah, you, you have some class. You have a glass of champagne. Then you stop a little bit. You sip it. Did you notice? There were tablecloths yeah. on the table. Hey Howard, but listen to me. I'm trying. I'm trying to really be serious now. I've stopped all the and noise I drank the water, like you said too. Oh. I yeah, drank some water. You, you walk around with a shit face grin. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you gotta. Your face gets all red. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right, Sal? When you first walked in, when we said surprise, me and Richard intentionally stood in the front. We thought you were going to be so happy to see us. So we yelled surprise. Howard's walking our way, and he goes, hey, Dominic, how are you? He goes right over our shoulders. I like, even said hi to you. I was like, hey, congrats, Howard. And you go, hey, Dominic. You walk right by us. Yeah. Like well, these two why? assholes are at my Why party. do I do that? Now you see why. I know, we know why, but. All right. Because I thought you were going to be. glasses of champagne in my hands. Yeah. That's why. There's you licking JD. Yeah, there you're licking like JD's face. It's a no. Oh. <laughs> Go slow. The night is young. Yeah, but the party was over early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But you, you pace yourself so you don't make an asshole out of yourself. And you enjoy the drinking. <laughs> At some point when you drink that much that quick... You don't enjoy it. Were you able to oh, go and fun. talk to everybody at the party? Did you? Were you able to go and say hello to Maggie Buckwald? No, because yeah. you no, you didn't. You <laughs> yeah. did not. I, I talked to Don for did. a long time about wines and stuff, and I talked yeah. to everybody at the party. <laughs> Hey, Howard, do you remember what Richard kept yelling out at the party all night? He kept yelling out, big guy jacking all night. What does that mean? 
Rich had downloaded a video of a, a guy, 300 pounds, who jerks off and then eats his semen. Yeah. And he thinks it's the funniest video in the world. So all night at your party, he kept yelling across the room, big guy jacking, big guy jacking. And everyone's like, what's, what's that all about? It was like uh, an inside joke all with right, me the and two of you Go back to that office I got you. <laughs> and go and create never come something. out. Yeah. And, and close the door. No one wants to see you today. I had fun, you. though. Thank you. Right, Just release the tapes. Thank you, I, I'd say thank you, but I want to get in trouble and call the psycho. <laughs> yeah, what would your thank you be now? Hey, Howard. <laughs> that picture of Richard and J.D., they look like two people who've been locked up in a shed in Alaska for eight months. There's like no sun. <laughs> Yeah, two whiter people you couldn't find. Yeah. They look sick. <laughs> and, they're, and they're white people. They have privileges. <laughs> Richard, what happened, man? I knew this was going to happen. Every time I drank, even if I didn't get a little sloshed, which I admit I did, and I was expecting this talk, but... I, you know, it's, uh, things get exaggerated a no, little no. bit. There was no exaggeration. I'm a drunk. What am I going to say? I love to party. I love to drink. I'm not going to deny that. I love it. It's good wine, good champagne. I got sloshed. But what about some Howard's, fun. you know, Howard suggested maybe pacing yourself, drinking in moderation. That's not as fun. <laughs> yeah. It's so you're, just, not, you're not heeding his advice here? It's hard because, man, to get a good buzz, get a good buzz on and be with your friends is fun. And it takes work. you got to start early. Yeah. And if, hey, if the booze is flowing, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to go lightly on it. What about you, Sal? It seems like your uh, obsession with Howard even spills over into congratulatory. Because of him. He's the one who started the heckling. Ass kisser. <laughs> and as soon as I heard in the back, the back, I knew this guy well, was Well, by gonna... then you should have known not to kiss But when ass. you said it, I knew an avalanche was going to open up. Because this fucking idiot was so drunk the whole time. I was like, ass kisser. <laughs> so I knew it was all over. But you don't think your speech was inappropriate or too, like, you know, one-sided towards your love for Howard? It was a build-up. It was a build-up. That's it. I just, I had a speech. I was building up. And in the end, Beth was the grand finale of it so but I couldn't get it off because this drunk idiot here inciting a riot during the middle of my speech I wasn't the only one that yelled I know but you're the first one to jump off the fucking table (laughs) he's waving his arms yelling big guy Jack I was listening up the crowd for you (laughs) thank you I appreciate it come on lightening the the mood because you are very serious yeah I don't yeah good thank you I'm no longer serious so gives a shit so basically none of Howard's advice about how to behave at a party went you know, you didn't learn anything. I anymore. think we did fine. I was nice and sincere, and Richard had a few drinks. You know, that's what people expect from. What are you supposed to do at a party? Just yeah. curl up and dig a hole and die in it? That's a party. You know, you're supposed to party yeah. at a party. What the fuck? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Haven't you, know? you heard the Beastie Boys song? You, you got to fight for your right to party, and that's, that's what we're doing. I mean, next we're day, you know. Keeping it real. You want us to be quiet? Invite us to a fucking library. I mean, we're at a party. Maybe not fight so hard next time. No, we're fighting.